the deportation of 100,000 Armenians. And all, and all too familiar repeat of history. I assure you, Prime Minister, that this tactic, again, will not work. Shame on you, everyone! Shame on you! Even though the Republic of Turkey continues to deny its crimes, we are fortunate to have various countries throughout the world that have not been afraid to stand up for justice, to acknowledge the truth, to look at Turkey in the face and call their empty bluff. Uruguay, Argentina, France, Chile, Germany, Vatican, Venezuela, Slovakia, Canada, Greece, Lebanon, Lithuania, Belgium, Poland, Russia, Switzerland, Sweden. But where, where is the United States of America? Where is this country that continues to uphold moral values, human values. Where is this country? Why is this country constantly ignoring, suppressing, and fighting against categorizing this event as genocide? Why is this country coming to its knees to appease a foreign government? Whatever happened to change? Whatever happened to hope? Whatever happened to dignity? President Obama! Secretary of State Clinton, Ambassador Yovanovitch, you represent me and my interests. You represent the one million American Armenians that have lived here for years, that have worked in our communities, that have worked in our schools and governments. You do not represent foreign countries. You do not represent foreign interests. And you certainly do not represent foreign cowards. Where are we? Where are we, your loyal constituents? Where are we on your agenda? Enough of the spineless excuse that now is not the right time. The time for justice is always, is always right now, and justice is what we demand. that's here today, we are now more stronger than ever, we are now more equipped than ever, we are now more educated than ever. We have come this far, we have come this long, and now it is our turn to step up to the plate and deliver for our people. We must not let the death of our ancestors live in vain. We must realize that being Armenian is something that we should honor humbly. We must exhaust every muscle in our body to push stronger and harder day in and day out because our struggle does not begin and end on one day. We must continue to be involved in our communities as much as we can. We must continue to be involved with our education because we must be the people that our persecutors fear. We can only prove their attempt to exterminate our people if each Armenian each day fights to better themselves, fights to better their community, and fights to better the entire Armenian people.
Our struggle, our struggle has reached new heights in the past few years. Our battle is no longer the battle of yesterday. We are now equipped with the ability to fight through media, to fight through the internet, to fight through social networks. But it is our job, it is our duty to take, to take that ability, to utilize it, but we must do so united. No matter what our background, no matter what our affiliation, we have to come together as this battle is on a new field. We must come together united as one because only then will we win and only then will we put an end to the genocide that has plagued us to this very day. And only then will we show to the entire world that an Armenian people united will never ever be defeated. There is, there is a free and independent Armenia. And mark my words, we the youth, we will be the leaders of a united Armenia, of a prosperous Armenia, of an Armenia that has Mount Adara in its borders, of an Armenia that has Moose, Bon and Adara in its borders, the Armenia that we know